Howdy folks, welcome to another live stream. So thanks for joining me on this Wednesday. It is fucking roasting outside. So if there's any man going to sweat today, it's probably going to be me sat here sim racing. Uh, but thanks for checking out the stream, really appreciate it. Hope you are all well of this Wednesday evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, so we popped on a few minutes early, decided to catch you out, get in a few minutes early. I want to see what servers are on tonight. Haven't pre-planned this whatsoever. I haven't had a look as to really what's on this week. All I knew is that I wanted to hop into multiplayer race week, race room today. Uh, spend some time in it. And I think I've caved to the conclusion that I, I much prefer doing ranked lobbies in any sort of software, whether that's, well, software, game, uh, whether that's a set of course competition, race room, etc. I much more... I enjoy it so much more when I'm live, when I'm chatting with you guys, having a laugh. So that's where the majority of my ranked multiplayer, no matter what game it is, that's where that's going to come out of. Panos, how's it going, dude? Thanks for checking out the stream, man. Hope you're good. Um, But the majority of my ranked lobbies are going to be streamed now. Uh, I've been playing Race Room all week. I've been fucking loving it. Um, But I've just been playing against the AI, uh, which has been actually great for practice. Um, but yeah, as I said, the majority of my ranked lobbies now are going to be streamed, so get used to this sort of content, I suppose. I was looking at the sim grid earlier, by the way. It uh, wasn't busy at all, but I see that the Spa 45-minute race and the sim grid daily race A has actually filled up quite a bit now, but we'll focus on race room tonight. We'll go ahead and we'll do some ranked lobbies in here. Let me know if you're joining process. Uh, let me know if you're in race room at all tonight, dude. Good to have some more people in there. Uh, I think first off, I'm going to go straight into Monza. Busiest track here. Let's go for it. Let's just jump straight in. We're not really going to think about this. We're going to go with the GTE again. With the Porsche. Really enjoyed racing that the last time. Ah, no. Server switching sessions. Let's go back here. Let's try finding another one. We're just out of time for that one. We've got Suzuka or we have... Oh, there's another Monza here. It's in practice. Let me see here. Du -du -du. Screw it. We're going to go Suzuka. It's the only one with a little bit of time left. So we're going to go into the F4s again. We did plenty of these races last time. Ah, oh, server switching sessions. Come on, man. Come on. Don't do me dirty like that. Red Bull ring. Let's see about that. Yes, come on. Haven't raced these cars before. Yes, Panos. <laughs> Up aboard the train, dude. I've I've been loving it. You know what? Macau. That fucking track, dude, is so awesome. I've been really enjoying actually going and doing some of the tracks that I'd never heard of. Like Moscow Raceway, Brino, 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 uh, Macau. Like all these tracks that I just... Well, I heard of Macau. But a couple of them that I'd never heard of before. And just decided to start racing them. And man, fucking awesome. There's some great tracks on this game. Uh, so refreshing to come across a game that has a few tracks that are just out of the ordinary, I suppose. Because, I mean, every game has Monza, Spa, all all the standard ones, Imola. Um, but it's quite nice to just get a game that has a few different tracks in there. Let's bring ourselves down a little bit here. All right, we're going to head straight out. Where are we again? Oh, we're at uh, Red Bull Ring. <laughs> Looks like you're clear on the pit exit. <laughs> so we haven't raced these cars before, so I want to try take it. Let's get some heat into these Try take it H. First lap at least. Yeah, man, race room has, uh, has really brought the fire back to me. I've been loving it. Oh, too late on the brakes, Al. I actually had a guy comment on one of the videos yesterday. He was looking at my initial stream on Race Room. Where I was like, you know what? I paid 60 something quid for this. And I said that it was expensive. And he commented and I was like, are you serious? 60 quid, you think that's expensive? Like you'd pay that for a couple of tracks on iRace. And then, and then pay X amount per month for the privilege of actually fucking using it. And I was like, you know what? When you put it that way, it's a fucking bargain, man. This game is so fucking great for the price of it. 
And I suppose any game that you get this much enjoyment out of, no matter what fucking game it is, if you personally get so much enjoyment out of it, I mean, the investment is kind of... Uh, oh, Jesus. That's a little bit tighter than I uh, remember it being. Oh, these cars are a little wild. Can't really push them too far. Oh. Straighten it up, Al. Blue flag. Get that boy, oh boy. Green flag, you're clear. I'm actually going to try to stay as close to him as I can because I want to try to follow his lines where they break. Watch the track limits. Please, Alan. Blue flag. Oh, it's fucking tight there. Yeah, man, graphics, I have to say, in ACC are spot on. Apart from the sim grid, I'm very rarely in ACC these days. It just... I really like the structure that the sim grid uh, gives. Because public lobbies, I mean... I can see myself heading back into public lobbies, even for a stream, just to have a laugh. But my only times properly in ACC now is when SimGrid is full, have some good races. It's the only time I'm really in there anymore. Car left. Still there. Clear left. I nearly hit that guy there. I took that too fast again. Five minutes left. On your left, clear left. The leader has just done a 139.10. I think part of it's the content as well, isn't it? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've been mostly racing GT3s because I fucking love racing them, but when it comes to stuff like this, I have no idea what these cars are, but it's quite fun that it's different, just challenging in a different way. I probably should have left more space between me and the guy in front, catching up a little bit faster than what I'd initially hoped. Your brake temperatures look good. Left side, clear left. A little bit slidey in first gear as well, it seems. Just need to be hoaxed around the corners. Oh, double shift. too fast yeah I kind of agree process unfortunately I mean before SimGrid when you don't know the SimGrid exists I mean you kind of just go in and you, you go into public lobbies and it's quite fun but when you get used to there being sort of a ranked system and a structure to it without that with the removal of it then it becomes something entire, entirely different I suppose that's your quickest lap in this session. You're now 2.3 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. I probably should have dropped down in a second there. Sector 1 is 0.34 off the pace. Lots of time to find on this lap, boys. Uh, 
Oh, too hot, Alan. Oh, I lost all the time, didn't I? Fuck it. Uh, reputation's up to like 83.2, something like that. Won't be going any higher if I keep fucking driving like this, though. I think once you get above 80, quite a lot of the lobbies start opening up for you, which is nice. Same as I race and rookies, I suppose. Bye bye. Sector three is clear. Clear right. Oh, but look, Alan, you've gone out of track limits. They'll delete this lap and the one after it. Oh, and the one after it. Fuck's sake. I should have let him by before the last turn. She didn't really want to hold him up. He was obviously way faster than I was, but. Let's try hang on to him here. Right. Steal his lines. Clear right. Love this track. Such a simple but awesome track. Yo, Harry, how's it going, dude? Thanks for dropping by, man. Hope you're good today. Too hot again, Alan. What the fuck you at, dude? Come on. The leader has just done a 138.46. <laughs> yeah, Panos. Took me a while to get out of rookies. You know what? The quickest I got out of rookies are when I was when I decided to stop racing people. Just hang around at the back and let everyone else take each other out as they normally do and then pick up whatever positions and just finish well. <laughs> Quickest way out of rookies. Unfortunately. But if you want to race in rookies and I race and you're going to have a bad time. Oh man, you can't carry speed through there at all. Back to the pits here. We've got eight minutes quali. That's good. At least we can try get a few laps in. A few decent laps at least. Well, practice was okay. So happy I had those few minutes there. A bad sim grid has a new championship going. Oh, nice. Five rounds. Which one is that, Harry? I'd be well interested in that's how I would. Anything that provides structure and forces me to... Uh, to use a specific game at given times, I'm all about that. But especially in the sim grid. Are you in the sim grid tonight, Harry? I've seen some of the lobbies were pretty full at this stage. I was checking them earlier, hence why I decided to go to race room. Uh, they weren't that busy earlier, but I see they filled up. They filled up quite a bit now over the last uh, the last two hours or so. Hope it's as warm and sunny wherever you guys are. I know in the UK and Ireland they're uh, they're pretty hot the last few days. But it's fucking roasting over here. I'm feeling it in here, I tell you. Right, what's going on here? So we're waiting for quali apparently. Yeah, probably tomorrow. I might be on Friday night, Harry. Um Thursday nights I probably won't stream, but um Friday night, Saturday night, definitely. So I'll probably hop into the sim grid either Friday or Saturday and do a night in there. I feel as if it's been an absolute age since I've done uh, done any sim grid. But for me, an age is like two days, I suppose. <laughs> but it's been over a week now, I think. Or at least last Friday, Saturday. Feels like a week anyway. Okay, get quality done here. Ah, okay, you can't send links. Yeah, I don't think you can send links in the chat. I'll have a look on the sim grid later. I 
guessing if it's anything to do with some sort of championship, it'll fill up fast. So I'll have a look later and I'll make sure I sign up. As long as I think I can make the dates. I say that and I'm not really fucking going anywhere, but... Well, going somewhere early September, but... Not the worst lap so far. You downloaded Race Room, I think, as well, Harry, didn't you? How have you found it? It's better. Be nice and clean. Move that chat up actually in a minute so I don't block the map. Yeah, you'll, you're at that stage where you have the free version, I suppose. And Oh, that's outside track limits, surely. Yeah. I'll delete this lap. Track limits. Yeah, I think the force feedback model on this feels amazing. Makes the ACC one feel a little weak, if anything. Cold tires all round. Boyos in here, either that or I don't know how to race these cars yet. Nice panels. Yeah, I'm with you, dude. Taking a break from it, I think, for a little bit. It'll be nice. Yeah, fours are really cool. Yeah, Harry, I'd, I'd recommend buying maybe a few bits and then seeing. It might be worth it to you to just buy it all, but the... Um, I can't remember the tracks I've been racing, but definitely Macau is a fucking great track. Brino is a great track. Moscow Raceway. There's a couple of ones that are a little bit un like not well known that I've been racing that I've been really, really enjoying. A couple of the German tracks as well. I think it was uh, Shannons, Shannonsburg or something like that. Seriously fun. Just those little known race tracks that just flow. And having so much fun doing AI race in the last few days on it. Alright, we're definitely up on our time. 600s. Keep it as tight as I can. I actually find it uh, ACC AI racing, man. I did that for for a long time before I started going into 
well, when I say a long time, I mean like a week before I actually went into multiplayer. I found it helped me so much. If anything, just practice the track. If I'm unfamiliar with a track at all, I use the AI to gauge where they kind of break, and then I know I can break about 100 meters further down the road than them. Because they always under or over break, I suppose. But um, as well to get your ratings up. That's two minutes left. Just two minutes. Mind these track Man, I can't believe I'm only 16. Fucking hell, I'm well off the pace here. Have to be expecting a few boys to crash out, I think. But I think AI racing in any game has its advantages. Yeah, Panos, I think the premium is still on offer for another day, I think, actually. It's on the 25th that it ends. I don't know what day it is today. The last I checked, I think it was the 24th day. I have time for another lap, I'm not sure. I can abuse those curbs a little bit more, that's for sure. Worth a thought, Harry. It's definitely worth it in my eyes, anyway. I think this lap is going to be cut off in the middle. One thing I can't get used to on race room is that they cut off your qualifying the second the timer ends rather than let you get your full last lap in. We're starting 17th out of 23rd. Fucking hell. Oh, we're going to have a bad time here, boys. I'm well off the pace here now as well, so there's no point in pushing, really. Oh, man, we're well down. We're going to see what sort of shenanigans happen over the first few laps. Well, hopefully we can start to make our way up. I think we'll start to gain a little bit of pace throughout the race as we begin to see how the others race i think that's also a good thing is just hopping Check in starting place. to race when there's faster people ahead of you it's quite helpful to see what their lines are where they're breaking uh, so this is this is valuable experience regardless so i think the first race or two we're going to finish very shit uh, until we get up to pace these cars are completely different as well oh they're the audi I remember racing these in iRacing and I had so much trouble with them. I think it's because I didn't have an auto clutch on. Which was part of the problem, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I agree, Panos. Uh, it seems a bit harsh, I suppose. But it's been numerous times now where I've been qualifying. You know when you're mad into it and you're just like, fuck, go, 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 go. Next thing, the steering wheel just goes light as hell and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> fucking cut off <laughs> happens because it, it goes from 100% force feedback to zero and then you're like shit <laughs> it's like if you're lifting a weight and someone cuts the cord and you're just like fuck <laughs> it just sends you flying <laughs> yeah something they could look into I suppose but I kind of get it I mean you have eight minutes so they might as well cut it off at least it keeps everyone you know it keeps the structure timed Rather than having to wait for people for ages. Minutes. Alrighty, boys. First race of the night. Hopefully, we don't die. Okay, Alan. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Green, green, green. On your right. Stay right. Getting those tires warmed up. Got a span for about five seconds right there. Side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry, white. Okay. Line. Stay right. Be careful. All right. Still there. Hold your line. Stay right. Left side. Still there. All right. We're still facing the same way. That's a result. Hold your line. We got a 15 minute race. Plenty of time here. On your left. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. 
Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. Oh, a little white there, out. <laughs> ACC, that would be a killer. It would. Oh, shit. much of a slowdown do I have? Come on. There we are. That's what I've found in this game and I quite like it actually is that you can be a little bit rough uh, and there's not too much consequence. Yeah, yeah, I like that too, Panos. It's uh, <laughs> it's quite refreshing. I need to get my head down here and catch back up. Just getting that off track. I've got to slow down, so it just affected me a little bit. I want these boys to start battling. So we're currently in 17th, exactly where we started. I really want to make my way up. Up 15 finish, I think it'd be... Yellow flag, stay sharp. A realistic goal, considering. Oh, someone dying down here, is there? Car left. You're in the middle. Oh, man. I can't go anywhere. Cannot go anywhere there. Clear left. Sector 2 is clear. But it has allowed me to catch back up, so that's good. I'm happy for that. This is Austria, Spielberg. Um, yeah, it's a good track. A Red Bull ring, I think it's quite often time. known by. Oh man, the car behind got such a good run. Hold your line. I was having to get off the throttle for this boy Clear in front. Left. Clear left. Last lap time was at 141.12. Come on, Alan, don't let him get away. Good, hard, close racing, though, lads. This is what it's all about. On your right. Still there. Hold your line. Oh, he stuck it around the outside. Stuck it around the outside. It's a Formula One track is where I know it from. But it's a decent track. It's a little bit more simple in its layout than most, but it's a, it's a fun track. Oh, up to 15th, man. We're battling hard for those two positions gained, so make sure I don't make any mistakes here exactly what I earn. These two boys battling hard. It's going to allow us to get back up behind them. You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 0.8. So box them in here, hopefully. We can get far enough along the side them. No chance. This car behind us though is flying up again. Not a bad exit that time, better than the last time at least. Car behind has got a better run though again. P15, that lap was at 140.87. That's your quickest lap in this session. Yellow flag. Oh, who's dead? Incident clear, green flag. Oh man, Panos. I'm the very same dude. I haven't even looked into it yet. Uh, by the time I get to that sort of stuff, I have to be a couple of weeks playing a game because... Right. Still there. Still there. Oh, he's tried to take me on the inside again, Watch but we've got more speed on the outside here. Still there. Clear right. So they get caught up on the cars on the inside because they're kind of waiting for the people ahead to turn. So actually taking the outside line on that corner is more beneficial. 
I think my tires are freezing cold by the looks of it. I haven't set them up at all correctly, but well, I haven't set them up at all, but for now, I'm not going to worry about uh, the details like that. I just want to race, have a bit of fun, and I'll get to all that nitty gritty details. Yeah, they, they should they should be some shade of green, I think. Right now, they resemble a fucking iceberg. Box him in. He has nowhere to go. Although I really don't want to be stuck on the inside here. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Oh, he's hitting me in. But well, we are through up to 14th. That's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. On your left. Hold your line. Clear left. Oh, he's been attacked again by the Audi behind us. Well, I say Audi behind us. We're all fucking Audis, but the blue Audi. Those boys keep battling, allow me to get up the road here a little bit. Oh, please don't be an off track. Ah, oh, fuck it. Cut the track. Let's keep slow nice down. Need to slow down a bit oh, here. man. Got to grin and bear that, I suppose. Oh, no. Alan, 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 Alan. Slow down, mate. Slow down. Oh. Watch those lines. Fuck it. On your left. Yellow flag. Clear left. Well, I took my slowdown to the extreme there, I think, lads. Down to 19th. Fuck's sake. So, six minutes left. Ah, oh, that was a royal fuck-up. This guy's going to absolutely bomb it up the inside, is he? Oh, come on, man. Another slowdown. Fuck me. All falling apart now. Okay, there we go. He's going to think I'm slowing down for him or something. Car left. Hold your line. Clear left. Alright, head back in the game here, Al. Don't be intimidated. Keep him behind you. Oh, too heavy on the brakes, Al. I think I'm going to look into the tyres now before the next race. And that's a shame. Working so hard to get up those few positions and then to make a mistake like that. Bring myself all the way back down the field. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. Oh no, I took it too fast again. I did the very same thing. Oh man. Oh man, I'm an idiot. Uh, oh well, that's the only way I'm going to learn it. Stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep it between the lines. The car in front of us is Jansen. Best to best, don't slow down. Do it on in the corners. Okay, man, I'll try. Struggling here a little bit. P21. <laughs> Thanos. Oh man, I was doing so well there for the first half of that race. Well and truly at the back, so I think... Two guys behind us retired. Actually, Tess, that's a question, man. How do I set the tires to PSIs rather than temperature? So I can uh, go about changing them in the car setup before I actually go into race. Because right now my tires resemble four icebergs attached to my car. Not really lending itself to racing. Okay, Alan, you've got 
got half your fuel left. Oh man, I'm I'm miffed about that. Fucking four minutes left. I, I fucked up so bad there. Not that I was gonna finish anywhere spectacular, but still I worked hard for those positions. And us, yeah. That's what we'll call it, man. A warm up race. Well, it's first time racing with these cars as well. And on a track I haven't raced on in this game yet, so. I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. I appreciate that, Panos. Some of the other boys will be like, ha, pussy. Come on. But I appreciate you being so forgiving, Panos. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. This is just like, this guy's fucking useless. No helping him. Alright, I'm looking forward to doing this race again now. We need some redemption. racing all the way through though even the back markers are racing quite well and fast and close it's good to see <laughs> Anna, i'm the same dude <laughs> two months into playing race room ah it's a warm-up warm-up race My bad anyway for getting these fucking slowdowns. I'd say I picked up about 15 seconds of slowdowns in the race and then two spins, so... Did myself absolutely no favours there. Hopefully there'll be a big massive pile up two corners from the end on the last lap involving 10 people. Sector 1 is 0.7 off the pace. Sector 2 is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.8 off the pace. Oh man, another slowdown. We've just cut the track. We need to slow down and give back some time. So we need to watch that next race as well as those slowdowns, track limits. Anos, legend. Thanks, dude. Setting tire section, tire pressure to PSI. Awesome. Thanks, dude. That's why I like streaming this stuff. Get some external help, external assistance. Because I'm fucking clueless. this race to end now i ain't going to be making up any positions should be the last lap i'm sure or maybe one more i have to train for a race tomorrow but i've overwritten the setup oh no oh man one more lap to go. Sector one is clear. That's not good, Test. Where are you racing, man?
Oh man, I ain't catching these lads. Okay, so 75 degree. Okay, I get you. So at least a fraction of one of my tires is uh, up to temperature, right? <laughs> take a look at that now when I uh, before I go into the next race whether it's this race again or, or another lobby but I'll make sure to start paying attention to the tire temps oh man that was fucking tough that was 20th place there we go it's over bring it back round I don't think I fucking will Jim I'm gone I'm quit Fucking bringing it back around. Victory lap. Finishing 20th. <laughs> oh man. That was tough. That was uh, that was really tough. Doesn't help when you're shit. Let me bring that chat up a little bit there. So the map isn't uh, hidden behind it as well. There we go. ACC with 24 PSI tires. Fucking hell man. You wouldn't be on the track. You wouldn't be able to stay on it. <laughs> Ice skating, yeah. You wouldn't be able to turn, man. You'd just go 360. Hockenheim ring. That's a shout. Oh, look at this. 29 out of 30. Let's get in here. GT3. Let's go with the Audi. Ah, fuck it. I thought I was a little bit too late for that one. Alright, I get excited there. Hopefully this one. I think it's just about to switch as well. Oh, you're in Portimao. Nice. Aquila CR1 Cup. Silverstone. Alright, we haven't done Silverstone here yet. Let's give this a go. We're in the, what I guess is what, Formula 2 or Formula 1 cars? Should be interesting. I can't even control a fucking Audi, let alone a Formula car. What track was it at again? Oh yeah, Silverstone. Jesus. This could be an interesting one here. You're basically going to look at me destroy my rating for the next few hours because I'm trying all these new tracks and, and car combos. But that's part of the fun of it, I suppose. Uh, okay, let me see here. What did you say? It was in Otterhus settings, tire settings, and tire setting in uh, PSI. Uh, so I've missed whatever session this is. So I'm guessing we're straight on to Quali. Jizz, I'm going to absolutely die here. And anyone within a mile radius of me is probably going to die as well. Uh, okay, so qualifying. Okay. Let's see here. Otterhood. And it was... What am I looking for? Tires. Oh yeah, tire pressure and PSI. Awesome. Okay. Let's bring this up. Oh, Jesus. Fuck's sake. No traction control on these bad boys, is there? Oh, God, I'm gonna fucking die. This lap won't count. You've cut the track. Oh, man. What? <laughs> what are these cars? I'll be the hokey fucking Jesus. What have I decided to do here? Okay, okay. Let me try to take my time here. Oh, you couldn't join, man. Ah, oh, shame. Suppose I probably just got in right before it switched sessions. But whether I'm going to do the race is another thing because I'm going, to, I'm going to see if I can actually make it around the fucking track here first.
<laughs> Mazda spin. You and me both, dude. You and me both. I have zero confidence in the turning abilities of this car or my own abilities to drive it. Oh, man. All right. Let's... We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to this. Okay, Alan, you're locking up your fronts a lot. You're locking <laughs> your fronts going to chapel. I think I'm going to have to take some time to practice with those cars before I hop into a ranked public lobby. I'll probably lose, uh, lose ranking now anyway for even applying for it, I guess, and not doing the race, but... I'd much rather do that than take everyone out uh, that's going to be in that fucking race. Jesus Christ, that was embarrassing. I'm not going to be doing that again in a hurry. That's something I need to practice over the next few days, is driving those cars. We have no other apart from Brands Hats Indy. So Panos, if you're up for uh, joining the uh, little N NSU cars again, I'm going to hop in here and have a laugh. Uh, just make sure to turn off or turn on manual and auto clutch. Ah, for fuck's sake, it's closed. What's going on here? We have the F4 in Suzuka. Try hop into this. Basically anything that's ranked, I'm going to go for tonight. Don't care what it is. As long as it in involves me either increasing or decreasing my overall rank, I'm all for it. Time well spent. I've been AI racing all week, practicing different tracks. Um... Yeah, I think I might lose rep if if uh, if I quit. Last time I had to alt delete because I had black screen and lost seven rep. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, Panos. I mean, I just say it because I know in I race and if I um, if I register for a race and not actually do the race, I think you lose uh, I racing or I rating. I think so, but don't take that as gospel, man. I'm I'm just thinking aloud here. Maybe I do, but um, yeah, so be it. I mean, I've had I race and crash yeah, on me a bunch of times. 18. Just before a race, and I still lost I read, and it's a bit shit at times, but sometimes happens. Might be worth checking out. But I'm certainly not sure. Okay, Alan, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Hi, Spanos. I'll see you in here. To try join the uh, GT3 Hockenheim ring lobby at some time tonight as well. That's going to be a good one. Basically, anything where I get to race GT3s is a good thing in my mind. Out. Actually interested, I don't know if any of you guys ever played Beam MG or Beam NG. Quite an awesome game. I downloaded it ages ago, but never really paid attention to it. But I was playing that during the week as well. So much fun. Yo, Hal Strag, or Starg. Hal Starg. Stargazer? Thanks for the subscribe, man, by the way. Seen that last night, or today, was it? But thanks, anyway. Thanks for checking out the stream, man. Oh, lay on the brakes, Al. Um, yeah, I downloaded Otterhood uh, after the guys telling me off after the first stream. <laughs> They were like, Jesus, get rid of that default HUD, man. It's fucking awful. Oh, it's fantastic, man. I really, uh, it really adds so much to the, to the overall aesthetic of the game. But thanks for stopping by, man. Hope you're well. are slowly coming up to temp. Oh, 
Oh, too white there. Sector two is yellow. Yellow flag. Green flag. Very interesting lines those two boys took there. Green flag sector one. Not sure what that's about, but. Green flag sector two. The leader has just done a 209.73. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. So I'm guessing this is the same, isn't it? About 25.7 PSI is going to be optimum for the tires. Pretty sure it's the same on a Formula car, I think. Need to bring up those uh, our attempts a little bit, I think. There's a 27.5 PSI. The guy has just posted a 211.00. Sector 2 is 0 0.30 off the pace. Incident in Sector 1. Sector 1 is yellow. Looks like the leader's binned it in Degna 2. A little lock up there. Sector 1 is clear. You're locking your right front going into the chicane. P2. Alright, P2, not bad. early on the break or too early on the power there running a little bit too wide sector one is yellow the leader has just done a 206.56 <laughs> oh yeah i've been uh overcompensating now for my lack of time in suzuka in acc Again, it was the only uh, only lobby I could hop into there, so I said, "Fuck it, you know what? Let's go again." That's the end of the session. P3. I think it was quite a good track for me, actually. The last day, I picked up quite a few points. Quite fun racing these around as well. They're quite nippy. Okay. Oh wow. So McAllister in P1. 2065 well we're well off that pace i think we definitely have a little bit more time in our lap but maybe not three seconds uh, okay so i mentioned that the cars with tc have it set to 100 by default uh, okay i get you i get you so i have them i have the button mapped yellow flag yeah i think so harry uh close to unlocking more online um, I'll have a look at that now, uh, Hal. I actually have the buttons mapped here on the steering wheel, so it should show up in a minute. So I've got... Uh, where is that? should show up when I change it. Not doing anything here. Maybe this car doesn't have TC. <laughs> Grass ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's destroy that rating. Yeah, I'm right with you, man. All the way back down to Ah, okay, yeah, it doesn't have a uh, TC. But that's good. That's good to know, man. Thanks a lot. Maybe that's why I've been so shit the races prior. My A or my ABS and my TC. Not me. Not me being generally shit. Do you want the graphics above the controls input? I get you. A little lock up of the tires there. your left front going into the hairpin i love this there seems to be a little bit of a, a niche community 
for race room. I really like it. Since I've started doing the videos, I've actually chatted to quite a few people who really, really like race room. I think it's uh, kind of underrated in a way, I think. Gets a lot of haters for some reason, but as does any sim uh, sim title, I suppose. It has its lovers and haters, but... Oh man, get on the brakes, Al fucking hell. Come on, concentrate. Keep it between the white lines. You've lost this lap and the next one. Okay. Lost this lap now too. Yeah, F3 car is very good. I really enjoyed that. It was when I got up to the F2s or the F1, whatever car it is, I cannot control that at all. I just actually did a... That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. Well, attempted to do a lobby in Silverstone just before hopping in here. And I, I got about half a lap through and decided to quit because I could not control the car for love, death, or money. But these are a lot of fun to drive, especially around here, the Senna S is so much fun. Fucking throw it into the corner. I am going to lose this lap. <laughs> so I'm not alone, hell. <laughs> That's good to know, at least. <laughs> That's what I find, man. When I got used to dri driving the GT3s, whenever I play something like... I, I downloaded uh, F1 2021, and just the amount of processing you have to do, because they just go so fucking fast, I, I cannot handle it. Cannot handle it at all. Too much for me. stop a little bit earlier better all right now we'll get one fast lap i don't think we'll have enough time for two so we need to make this one count currently 11th out of 12th out of 19th Yeah, watching the Glenn in this game, man, is fucking amazing. Especially when you're used to the Watkins Glen in iRacing. The Watkins Glen here looks fucking amazing. Without the kink bit. <laughs> nice, I'll try that out, man. I like Watkins Glen. Decent track. Taking that a little faster though. Oh no, get off there. That's it, we're still in.
time we're going to come up with here. Definitely not a 2065 anyway. That was a 209.83. Yeah, man, just 40 seconds lost time. Had two minutes left, but not enough time to finish. Uh, what time or what uh, position you finished, Manos? I'm currently in ninth. I've just been, uh, I was eighth. Just lost out there. Back to ninth from midfield, which is a little bit dangerous, I think. We'll see how that works out for me at the race start. Thanks for checking out the stream, though, guys. I do appreciate it. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you like what you see. And of course, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. It'd be great. Um, P4, nice, Panos. Check I'll make sure out. to punch you off on the first corner. There you are, P process, nice. She's almost in decent time, 2086, fucking hell. I'm well behind you. We've got to spend this trying to catch up now. Well, good luck, dude. Let us know how you finish. I'm sure you're finishing ahead of us. <laughs> teamwork man teamwork I just gotta make sure I don't kill anyone or no one kills me 206 is good at Suzuka I ain't hitting that Harry I don't think I'll be looking if I get into the 207s but we'll see I'll try to push it I'll try to push it now this race and see if I can start to make minutes. my way up but good luck guys here we go race number two get ready Go, go, go. Right side. Right to the right of me with a great start. Play right. Right side. Oh, there's two wide in on the inside. Now we're now three wide. Still there. My radar Still working there. overtime here. I'm just going to have to concede. Still there. Clear right. I'd rather not die. I'll let him bite. I'll get the position back at a later stage in the race. Come on, Alan. Just settle down. Find your rhythm. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left. Oh, All God. Right. What's going Clear on here, right. boys? Come on, be careful. Jesus, was Clear that... Right. That wasn't my fault. He surely came Clear over right. across me. It's an clear. Green flag. Not sure what happened there, but I think he got a little tap from one side and ran into me. We were fairly steady behind him there. We possibly have a look at the replay after. Where are we? We're back to 12. But we made back any positions that we initially lost. Where's Panos? That's going to be our uh, task now to get up to Panos. Wherever the hell he is. Yellow flag sector two. <laughs> so definitely got a better exit than the car ahead there, dipping his wheels into the gravel. Oh, this guy has a toe behind Sector us. One is clear. Not on the inside here. Good man. Oh, man. Ran and wide there. Oh, Jesus. Yellow. Keep it in there, Alan. Keep right. it in. Clear right. Green flag, you're clear. On your right. Still there. Oh, he overtook both of us. <laughs> he was fucking delighted with himself, I'm sure. <laughs> Flag, oh two. man, I'm struggling 12. here. Okay, Hold P12. Right. Clear right. Car right. Clear right. Someone right dying. Side. Someone Yellow dying. Flag. Oh, God. Hold your line. Clear right. Clear right. It's an clear. Green flag. Okay, Alan. The next car is Steinhauer. Green flag, sector one. Drifting. He's drifting. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, two boys, side by side. Go on. Good racing, at least. Well, P11. I think a top 10 is going to be realistic for us to aim for here. Oh, he's outdone himself a little bit. Right. Oh, don't, don't turn in on me, dude. Come Clear on. Right. Fucking hell. I've no lights to flash at him in these cars. Okay, Alan. You've had a bit of suspension damage. It's probably all right. Fucking hope so, Jim. But he was not letting us by there. He was saying, oh, fucking no. Hopefully he'll run out wide here again. Not a hope, unfortunately. The leader has just done 06.49. Well, that was a 209.65. Yellow flag, sector one. Yellow flag. So what we need is people facing backwards. That's a freebie. Jim knows all. Jim's the master. Stay focused. Apexes and exits. Apexes and exits. Yeah, 206 is a fucking good time. I think that guy got what? 2064. Madness. We just need to stay ultra consistent here because. Guys are all going to fight again. I just need to make sure I'm there to capitalize. Incident in sector two. Sector two is yellow. The gap to Gutierrez ahead is increasing. Yeah. It's Currently tenth. Green flag sector two. Oh, yellow he's lost it. He's lost it. Green flag. This guy's been involved in a, a couple of little coming together, this red and white car ahead. So I just gotta be mindful of him, Gutierrez. Dirty little bastard, Gutierrez. Gotta watch him. Pulled a sneaky on us before, so. Where's that car gone? That's not the fucking line through there, son. Car left, clear left. Oh, he fucked up. He was trying to outbreak himself. He ate his mine. See if we can keep it now. Sector Eight minutes to go. P8. You've just done a 209.43. Oh, a little hot in there, Al. Keep it under control. Jesus. That was on the edge. Well, I tell you what. I've never taken a faster gain half a second there. <laughs> That's probably how you do take the turn. I just thought it was way too fast. I'm just not that confident on the brakes in there yet. Gotta unlock some Green speed here, one. lads. Oh, get off there, Al. Have him under pressure, boys. Putting in a good lap here as well. 1.1 up.
could even get into the one oh or two oh sevens here, which for me it'd be fucking fantastic. Put flat to the floor there. So easy outbreak yourself there too. Uh, 2081. I won't be breaking any records, but at least my lap times are dropping. I'm hoping these two boys will start battling now. Gutierrez ahead is increasing. It's now 1.4 seconds. But it looks like the boy ahead is struggling a little bit. I pulled half a second in on him there the last lap. But if we can't get Gutierrez, we might be able to get this guy. Who is it? Boonradi? This car ahead. Come on, boys. That's it. Side by side, all the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got too happy. I seen that they were battling, I got half eat. Made the consequence. Car left. Sector two is clear. Fuck it. Clear Fuck it out of here. Oh man. I seen an extra position there, I got excited. Full on the throttle spins at 360 for fuck's sake. Oh, when will you learn, Al? Let's try to get this uh, pity position back. Of course he's fucking gaining on me, Jim. <laughs> oh, man, how many times I know. Especially in these cars, it's so easy. Especially and it, coming out of that hairpin, it's so easy to fucking spin a 360 like that. But uh, I should have known better. That dude's really struggling on the chicane there, so... Just keep that in mind. If I can keep under pressure coming to it. We can get this guy. And drives into a wall in front of you. Someone follows. <laughs> Happens more often than people Nine. think. <laughs> Just so fixated on the car in front. Oh, right man. Side. Play right. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Just made a small error on the exit there. We got a great exit. That was over with before we knew flag, it. You're clear. Little tire rub. Little kiss. Say goodbye. Little kiss. I tell you what. Anos. Or Prasas. You must be doing fairly well, dude. Because I don't see you on the leaderboard. But it must be top four. Flag sector three. That's it for my positions gain now because these two boys ahead are way too far. Unless someone makes a big mistake, but oh, and puts it into neutral. But we're ten seconds behind seventh. I don't think that's happening. Oh, we got two minutes thirty left. Catching those. Having enough room for the tower. 
What's the tower? Place. You're gonna have to elaborate, Hal. Talking about PC tower? <laughs> Tried your nemesis. <laughs> I'm never going back there. 154 in Silverstone. Nice, man. A relative tower display. No, I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm guessing that can be turned on in Otterhood. I'll... I mean, oh, if so, I'll, I'll switch it on. I have a relative up there on the um, mirror, all right, but I don't know what the relative tower is. I don't know if it's better for you guys to see that instead. Okay, I'll have a look after the race, Hal. So many options in Otterhood, it's amazing. Oh, wow, see every position. Oh, I think I turned that off, actually. Um, because it was above the top bar. And I just said with the camera on screen and everything else. I just said, fuck it. Right front locking into the chicane. I just said, fuck it, I'd remove it because I'd had uh, the displays coming down. But I can see about adding it back in there. I'll take a look now after this race. But I seen that when I initially installed Otterhood. I know what you're talking about now. Man, I really fucked myself making that mistake. I felt as if I could have got 7th or maybe even 6th. That'll be goal for next race. You've got half your fuel left. Sector two. I might have to try to go back into Silverstone and beat your time Green test. Sector two. I don't think I'll do it within a night, though. <laughs> Man, that was another tough race. Let's see what's available now after this. I wouldn't mind having another go at Austria. P8, that's the end of the race. Never mind. Well, I'm not entirely unhappy with P8. When you have i3 to Amiga graphics. <laughs> I remember when I first got iRace and I tried it on my old laptop just to test it before I got the PC. And yeah, it, it can look pretty bad. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'll tell you what, Panos. Compared to me, you're a fucking alien. There was no way I was catching up to you. Where did you finish? Yeah, oh, you finished in P4. That's decent, man. I mean, I finished P8. I could have got P7, but I fucked up by span. P7 
People love their cats here. Callister and Hendrix. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good race, though. I enjoyed that. Just a bit uh, disappointed I made that mistake. I like just having consistent races, but not always possible. Especially when you're trying new stuff like that. All right, where are we at here? So Silverstone can go suck a dick. <laughs> he ain't going back there in a hurry. Uh, Norris Ring. I don't know what this is about, but... Let's, um... Oh, wait, we've got Hockenheim Ring here. So let's jump in here. 2071. Wow, my best lap was a 2081. Uh, so you're well ahead of me. I'm up for joining Hockenheim Ring. Um, Well, we have the... Well, the brand's actually that's going to be starting in 20 seconds. So I'm not really going to bother about that. Um, we've got a long DTM race Europe. That's probably going to be a 45 minute one. Oh no, 30 minutes. Um, I'm up for trying this, dude. I've never raced Norris Ring. And I've never raced the DTMs. Um, so it might be... Might be a shout. 206, fucking hell. That's ridiculous. I'm going to go Norris Ring DTM 1992. I'm probably going to die a slow and painful embarrassing death. But yeah. This is what we're here for. I wish I had a round wheel for these cars. Yes, test the pest is all over it. Like fucking do it, mate. What? <laughs> you just want to see me die. You're screen recording. You're just like, fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, no traction, dude. Um, let's see how we do. But at least these cars are a little bit slower than a Formula car. So I'm guessing I probably won't spin as much. But I don't know the track at all either. So it's going to be new for both of us, man. The pit lane speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, I'm going to follow this guy. Hopefully he knows where he's going. Louis. Show me the way. Oh, don't go too far ahead of me, though. Take care, there's a car approaching. Your brakes are cold, take it easy. On your left. Incident in Sector 1. Sector 1 is oh. yellow. Hold your line. Oh, Jesus, clear it's a fucking hairpin. Sector Jesus. 1 is clear. Yellow flag. You're clear. Incident clear. Oh god, I'm gonna fucking die, aren't I? Oh. Yellow flag, green flag, all clear. Well, I feel green sorry for you lads two. looking at me going around the track for the first time trying to learn Yellow it, but. Stay sharp, you're clear, incident. Gotta clear. be part of it, doesn't it? Gotta remember <laughs> that Yellow the brakes flag, don't sharp. work as well or efficiently on these cars either. Incident clear, green flag. So it doesn't feel like traction's an issue. Traction on these seems seem fine. They're slow enough to get going. Just getting to know this track now, and then the braking markers is going to be a lot more distance in our braking. Okay, Alan, we need to watch these track limits. Spin world record. No spins yet, but let's see. This is a really short track, actually. Sector 2 is clear. <laughs> yeah, Harry. It's quite a quite cool track, actually. Just need to get more confident at it. But I like these street circuits, especially when they're a little bit wider. Yellow flag. Brake temperatures look good. <laughs> what are those two boys at? Green flag. Oh, that's Brassas. <laughs> oh, he's that out there. Sector one is clear. All right, now we're getting used to the track, lads. Your front tires are cold. Oh no! Oh, don't spin it! No! Oh, fuck's sake! There's Prasas. 
Oh man. <laughs> Bodywork's in pretty bad shape. We might need to fix uh, that. That's his way of saying hello, I suppose. Brave racing on an unknown track, man. I know I'm not brave. It's silly. I shouldn't be at it. But uh, the only reason I'm doing it really is because we have 20 minutes before the start of the race. So I think that's ample time to to get up to speed. Um, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd hop in to a race and try it. That's just asking for bad news. I'm gonna wreck my own race and everyone else's. There's a car approaching. Watch your mirrors. Stay behind the white line. Blue flag. We need to get some heat into these brakes. I seen you say hello to me there, Brassas. I think that was you anyway who crashed into me. It's funny. Yeah, there's a couple of boys all over the place here. I don't know. I think it's just trying to stay as moderated as possible on the on the throttle, I suppose. But a hundred and fifty marker for both of these turns is seems pretty good. Green flag sector three. Green flag, you're clear. All right, boys, let's go for a flyer here. Let's see how we do. So we're 11th out of 13th at the moment. Yellow flag. Okay, Alan, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Incident clear. Green flag. if I can carry more speed going through that turn. The runoff is so wide. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Green flag, sector one. Green flag, all clear. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Green flag, you're clear. Yellow flag in sector one. Let's see where we end up here. We think Patterson has gone off in turn one. Sector two oh, is clear. Nine. Yellow flag. Your lap time was at 57.04. Green flag, you're clear. Yellow flag. Green flag, you're clear. Sector three is clear. losing time down the straight now I feel as if I get that first corner right on that chicane I can yellow flag green flag all clear sector one is clear keep momentum going out on the second corner carry a lot more speed down there and gain on the straight go up almost half a second that lap green flag sector two Half a second, we're still P9. We didn't actually gain any positions from that gain. There we are, now we're fucking gaining speed out this corner. Look at that relative just fucking fly up. Yellow flag, sector one. Your brake temps are good. All right, so we're up eight tenths. We should be up higher than ninth now, hopefully. Unless eighth has a horrendous like gap on us. Okay, Alan, a oh, car Jesus, car just up to eighth. Fucking Last hell. Was a 55. <laughs> Yellow flag in sector two. Yellow flag, stay sharp. You're clear. Incident clear. No way he's making that turn. <laughs> On your left. Clear left. We'll let this guy through. Right side. Clear right. 
Sector one is yellow. There's a faster class car approaching. A faster class we car? Is there other fucking classes in this? Turn one. Yeah, I'll. I think I, I never actually checked it. Well, I might. I'll check it now before this. Usually, I'm over fuel. To be fair. Ah, okay. I get you. I thought that was. Uh, I thought that was saying. I'm underfueled by that amount. Ah, that makes more sense. Sector two is yellow. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. Clear right. Oh no. On your right. Fucking hit the inside wall. Clear right. Gonna try stick with this guy. This is the first place, Louis. Sector I want to see where he clear. breaks. Gets in. Yeah. Where he opened out, opens out that turns so much more. So if it's in red, if I'm under fueled, I get you. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Pass the car behind. Oh Jesus! Sorry, sorry, car. Oh Jesus! Oh God! Green flag. Left side. Clear left. Shit! I really wanted to stay behind Louis there. These cars are quite fun to drive, though. Fucking old school. Sector one is clear. Yellow flag. Inside My uncle had one of these flag. when I was a fucking kid. Oh Jesus, watch out for that barrier out. So interested to see what the racing's gonna be like in these. Incident in sector two, sector two. Fucking messy. First just opened up this corner completely. Yellow flag, stay sharp. On the power early. It's a group of faster cars behind. Incident clear. Green flag. Green flag. Sector two. Not necessarily what I did there. I was really slow over. <laughs> no way to drive this thing. Yeah, they're pretty tricky uh, to turn. But it's just a speed thing, I think. If you overspeed them into the corners, you're gone. Yellow flag. But by the looks of it, we're all not right. the only people kind of right. hopping in this to give it a try because there's clear, people all over clear. the fucking place. Yellow flag. Incident clear. Green flag. Green flag sector one. Oh, too late on the brakes. Oh, way too late. Alright, let's try to put a lap together here because I'm losing tents everywhere. We've got seven minutes left for practice, so we gotta use that seven minutes. Sector one is yellow. Incident in sector two. Sector two is yellow. Lay on the brakes, they're out. Sector two is clear.
really got to sort out that first corner. Losing a lot of time on these two. Doing a little damage to my transmission there as well. Shifting down gears too early. Wheel settings to 360. I find it okay actually the way it is. I don't know what I have it set to currently. Steering with your right foot, I get you. So basically, the accelerator let him steer using the accelerator, right? Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. So I do want to go in and edit my PSIs because my none of my tires are up to temp. So I do want to have a look at that. So basically, you're drifting them test. I'm guessing. So you're using the right foot to to bring them around corners using the accelerator. Because they can kind of drift, can't they? Uh, car setup. So let's have a look here. Where do I get the tires in here? I've got tire info here. How do I add or how do I edit the actual tire temps here? Is it camber that I have to edit here? Ah, Norris Ring is also in the video. I'll make sure to check that out, dude. Sounds interesting. ETM history. Uh, anyone know where I edit the actual tires here? Well, you can change the compound here. But I can't seem to edit the PSIs of the actual tires themselves. Don't know what's going on. Ah, tire pressure. Nice one. Thanks a lot, Test. Um, so tire pressure needs to come up then, obviously. I don't know what KPA is, but... Um, give him a chance there. Let's see what that does. But my rear, um, my rear right was okay. It was the other three that were down a little bit. Watch your mirrors. There's a car approaching. Green flag, you're clear. We need to get some heat into these brakes. There's a group of faster cars behind. Sector two is yellow. Left side. Green. Clear left. On your left. Hold your line. Clear left. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Green flag, sector two. You want higher temperature pressure down. So you mean more surface area on the road? Mm 
Yellow flag, stay sharp. Sector three is clear. Flag, all clear. Programs to work like an AC. Well, I'm going to go back in. Oh yeah, we only have 20 seconds left anyway. So pressure down then. So car set up. Come back in here to front. And then we bring the tire pressure. I saw that bring it up four. So I'm going to bring it down two. Uh, and then the rear I brought up three. I'll bring that down where it was and then drop it down one. What that does for us. We've got qualifying, 10 minutes, awesome. <laughs> Just talk about being outside your comfort zone. Fucking DTM cars. Never even dreamed of racing these. Let's see how we do here for quali. We're in the top 10, I'll be pretty chuffed with that. This is again 10 minutes extra practice, so that's good. Too late there, Al. Way too late. This lap will be invalidated. Watch the track limits. We'll see what the tires are like there now, test. Okay, so 1 kPa or 5 kPa equals 1 psi. Nice. Oh shit, over a bump. Oh god. Yikes. Okay, I'll don't read and drive. Let's go back here. So tires actually okay, Alan, seemed okay the there in terms of temperatures, but for a tow. let's see. Let's get a validated lap here. One where I don't cream It'll myself into a barrier. Turn four. Isn't heavy enough on the brakes. Ah, oh, Alan, come on. Keep spinning. Keep on spinning. Want to be next lap. We'll get a validated lap, I think. All right, let's get this T1 correct. Your lap time was 102.57. Front 
tires are cold. Now we're losing speed all the way down. Front tires are not looking good at all. That lap time was 56.40. Sector 3 is a tenth off your best. <laughs> More fun to watch others struggle. Thanks a lot, dude. <laughs> Probably is fun, to be fair. I enjoy doing it myself. Come on, relative. I'm up 15th out of 19th position. Fucking hell. Sector 2 is a tenth off your best. I think I just need to be a little bit more rough. That's fucking six tenths up there on the last corner. Just need to start fucking flinging it around the corners, I think. Give it a bit of abuse. That was a 55.78. Sector three times quick. Ah, no. Too much. I get what you mean now about steering it around the corner with the... Uh, okay, Alan. Five minutes to with go. With the throttle, though, there. because the rotation is so slow. You get on the throttle, you just spin the back end around and line yourself up. Makes a lot of sense. So I need to sort out these front tires, but let's keep going here with Polly for the time being anyway. Sector one is zero point three eight. Slower than your best. there that lap was a 56.25 sector three is a tenth off your best sector one is quick Oh, no, keep it together, Al. Come on. Fuck it. Lost everything there. Sector two is one tenth off your best. Up a tenth, almost. A lot of work to do for a tenth though. Your last lap time was at 55.69. Sector three times okay. We are getting faster. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Oh no, fuck it, I was up half a second as well. Ah, tried to keep it flat, just uh, seeing I was up half a second there, so I was like, fuck it, keep going. Oh, a little too much though.
Let's go back. We'll change this setup. So the tires on the front are way under what they should be. I do want to bring these up. Um, I think it makes sense to bring these up. They're way under temperature. I'm going to see what that does. Uh, oh, wow. We have a 30 minute race as well. So lots to happen here. Lots of opportunities to pass, but then a lot of opportunities to fuck up as well. So where's Prasas? Right in front of us. 12th position. Fucking hell. So we are 53. 3.55. So we're about two seconds off the lead. Wow. For a distance, two and a half seconds off the lead. But I'm guessing we'll speed up a little bit as the time goes by. The general fuel level. 17 laps. 17 laps. So it takes us about a minute to go by. That's 17. Wow, well, we're going to have to have more fuel than that anyway. I'm going to go 40... Ah, fuck it. I'm going to go on the safe side. I'm going to go 48 liters. I think that might be uh, a little bit of overkill, but I'd rather not risk it, to be fair. Your tire temps are all good. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, process. Jesus, this is going to be a tough one. Check your flags out. Definitely Eight unlike 12. any race I've done before, so... Gonna be an interesting one. That crowd looks pretty interesting there, I have to say. I don't know what's going on with that, but... I'm gonna go 48 litres, Panos. Um, I think that should do. I think that covers us You're for like 38 right laps. Going into turn four. Um, I'm not entirely sure about how much fuel to put in. Click right on the fuel display. Get a fuel calculator. Click right on the fuel display. Um, I don't know, Panos. <laughs> I'm going to go for 40, 40 laps. I mean, it takes us on average about 57 seconds for a lap. So... On Otterhood. Ah, okay. Jesus, Otterhood is fucking amazing. How much time have we got left here? I've only 15 seconds. So I might just not go into the calculator for now because... Um, let's see here. On fuel. Thirty okay. minutes. Okay, we're just going to have uh, to go with it. Okay, Alan, here we go. Go. Let's go, boys. Let's try not to die. On your right, oh three God. wide, you're in the oh middle. Oh, God. Clear all round. Didn't want to kill Prasas there. But I think if I try to keep it as consistent and clean as possible, I can rely on the mistakes of others to try gain a few here. I'm definitely taking that last corner faster than a lot of them. Car right. Hold your line. Still there. Play right. Right side. White flag. Still oh there. god, oh god. Yellow flag. Oh man. In the middle, three wide. Clear left. Incident clear. Green flag. <laughs> clear all round. Sorry, Panos, I pushed you wide there by accident, man. Actually thought I broke well in time for that corner, whereas in fact I didn't really. Oh, 
Oh god. I was turning in there. I didn't even fucking see the barrier until it was the last second. Leader has just done a 54.42. Well, quite a gap opening up already. Through us back here from ninth downwards. Jesus. Left side. Come over. Clear left. At least me and Panos can have a good battle. We're both shit. Cold tires all round. Oh god. Oh, he's Yellow spun flags. it. Clear left. The leader has just oh, man. 54.22. Green flag. <laughs> it was a decent pass up the inside, all right. Tried to get on the power a little early, though. <laughs> Unlucky Panos. And I'm forever late on the brakes Yellow there. flag in sector one. Yeah, I seen that dude. I went the uh, opposite direction with them, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to grin and bear it, I think, for the next 26 minutes. The gap in front is now 0.9. Just need to take the time to New fastest learn how to set Louis, up the car in this. Sector one, yellow flag, sector two. Ah, too late on the brakes there, Alan. Fucking up my exit now out of this turn. Fucking turning in on me, man. Trying to squeeze me there, obviously, but could have left a little bit more space. E10, the gap behind is now 1.7 seconds. Struggling here. I think my battle is going to be for eighth here. If even. We're losing the toe of this guy ahead as well. Someone Leaders spun behind. 54.00, yellow flag, sector one. That's the new fastest lap for Louis, 53.69. Sector one is clear. Well, 53.69. Watch those downshifts. Go easy on the transmission. The 
see how something happening with these two Sector boys. Two is clear. That last lap was a 55.70. Good lap. That's your best in the session. You're a second off the pace in Sector 3. Oh, Sector he's spun it. Clear. He's into the barrier. On your right. Clear right. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've clear spun left. it for fuck's sake. God damn it. I'm an idiot. Same as in Suzuka. Gets excited when he sees a position. Fucking full flat to the floor. Spins it. Oh, it's going to be a very uh, lonely race now. Fucking hell. Need to do some catching up here. Pest pest fucking loving it. <laughs> Tenth position. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can close the gap at all. Eight seconds to the car ahead. We were beginning to pick up a little bit of pace. I mean, we were into the 150 or into the 55s lap time. It says that. It says now nine seconds gap. But let's see. He's fucking rapid. Sector one is clear. Broke way too early for that last turn there. That lap was a fifty five point six six. Yellow flag is what I want. Hopefully Patterson is ahead of me. Gain a position. Must be, I suppose, because there's not many fucking people behind me. guy behind me as well, Svensson. Can't break. Gap at all. But we're making slow gains here in terms of lap times. Gap ahead is down to 8 seconds. Yellow flag in sector 2. Green flag sector 2. Oh, Alan, that's 
a mistake the guy behind wanted. The gap behind is now 0.8. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. Almost down half a second. More than half a second that lap, Jesus. But we'd lost half a second now again to the car in front. We had gained half a second. Italy on the brakes there. I'll fuck it. I was up. Green flag three. sector three. Oh, I was doing really good that lap. I was up about three tenths as well. Fuck it. Too much speed in there. Dropped at the first and the back end of the car just went around. I was carrying too much speed in, trying to slow it down. Oh man, this is a fucking tough race. Sector one is yellow. Sector one is clear. Oh man, 16 minutes left. This is fucking hell. What we signed up for, I suppose. The gap in front is now 3.8. I know I can get this guy back. I can just get in a few consistent laps. I can pull this gap back. A 4.1 to him and 11 seconds to the guy in front now instead of fucking 7. That last corner. Is someone in the pits? Boom, up to 10th. I'll take that. 10th position. So they're changing tires. Your lap time was 55.61. That's the new fastest lap for Louis, 53.54. Okay, Alan, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Louis is now in the lead. Hill Climber Classics. Wow. I'd seen them in there, but I haven't tried them yet. They look awesome.
I'm about to be lapped here, boys. The gap ahead is now 2.4. Slowly catching on this guy ahead. Blue flag. Oh, I'm an idiot. That guy went wide, and then I fucking went wide. Like these guys. On your left. Here. Clear left. Decrease to 3.6. I would say I'll try to stay with these guys, but they're fucking tearing off into the distance. Got 2.8 seconds actually back to 11th. Just need to keep an eye on that. Oh man. Come on, come on. Fucking hell, when's this race over? 11 minutes. Christ almighty. This fucking guy behind me is going to get me now as well. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. Your left rear has minor wear. Fastest lap for Louis. 53.26. Well, You've got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes to six. go. Okay, fucking hell, man. Those relax. guys are flying Focus. around here. Smooth. Green flag sector one. Oh no, Alan. Oh no. Oh, you fucking idiot. Fuck's sake, man. What was that? Oh, for the love of fucking God. Oh, but Jesus. Fastest lap for Fucking Louis, Christ. 53.23. Green flag, you're clear. Nine more minutes of this shite. I regret this decision. I regret, a bit of I regret hopping into fucking DTM. Especially a 30 minute race. Fucking hell. That was not a good choice. This night's gonna absolutely fucking destroy my ratings, any ratings that I had built up. Sector 2 is clear. But I suppose it is my own fault because I've been making mistakes here that I shouldn't be making, so... Only myself to blame, really. Sector 
Sector 3 is yellow. Yellow flag, Sector 1. Sector 1 is clear. Green flag, Sector 3. What's the next position now? Oh, geez, stay off those bumps, Al. The gap ahead is now 18 seconds. Fucking hell, 18 seconds to the guy in front. I'm destroying my transmission here as well. Flag in sector one. Looks like P3's gone off in turn one. Green flag sector one. Well, hopefully P3 can spin about 20,000 times than I can possibly pass him. Six minutes to go. And I'm going to be stuck 11. Sectors one and three are This has not been the, the most base. enjoyable Sector race, I'll be honest. Off the base. The lap times are pretty consistent. There's a white flag, yellow flag. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. Green flag, you're clear. There's a bit of wear on your right side tyres. Sector 2 is yellow. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Sector 1 is clear. Oh, it's my man. It's 10th position. The battle's back on. <laughs> He made a mistake. Five minutes towards the end. Okay, we're back in it. Let's let's this push okay. here. Let's Keep try fight for P10. Green flag, sector two. Just made my race. Last bit of my race. A hell of a lot more interesting. So thanks to him for that. Not the only one making mistakes. Right, Alan, gaining on this car. The gap is 1.0 seconds. It started quite fun, but yeah, I think it takes a little bit of time to, to get accustomed to these fucking yogs because, I mean, I wouldn't have minded so much if it was a 30 minute race, but when it's 30 minute, or when it's a 15 minute race, but when it's 30, oh man, it's a long ass race. But I'm happy now I have a little bit of a battle going on here because I just hope I don't fuck up again. I can stay close to him and possibly battle for it. Keep him under pressure. went wide there yeah 30 is a bit of a pain especially when you're not good at it 
But I'm still happy I've seen it through, to be fair. So three minutes left. It's going to fly by. Then we shall move on. I might look at Hockenheim Ring and go to the GT3s. Anna, so what Test is saying there is basically what he told me. Go and fucking learn how to drive the cars. The gap in front is now 0.7. <laughs> I think we could both use the practice. Matos is entering the pits. He's in P12. Looks like he'll come out just in front of you. Matos behind is pitting now. Oh, I don't see us getting this guy unless he makes a mistake. We've got two minutes. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Balls of steel. Yeah, I'm sure, man. These fucking cars are amazing. car on the inside of me <laughs> wow that was uh the two of them were fucking early on the brakes there gone wide oh god he's gone really wide holy oh, shit <laughs> fucking hell oh man <laughs> I was thinking he went wide there and then he just fucking slams across us you've got a bit of tyre wear on all your tyres that's what you get boys that's the pressure the pressure of having me behind you so at least we're top 10 I'm happy with that on the last, well, second last lap as well, I think. Tenth position. Yellow flag in sector one. Green flag sector one. Yeah, man. If you had given me top 10 when we started this race, I would have been like, yeah, fuck it, give it to me. Let's call it quits. Oh, jeez. Carrier, watch out. Always turning too early there. So I'm ahead of the leader here, so I'm guessing I have to do another lap. He's just about to finish the race. Last lap. Yellow flag sector two. Sector two is clear. Oh wow, we're 5.3 seconds behind ninth. That gap's fallen quite dramatically the last few laps. It was fucking ridiculous, whatever it was, but obviously not going to catch him now on here. Is of course unless he makes a last minute mistake. I think it would be that lucky though. Catching him fairly rapidly though there the last few laps. Tell you what though boys, I'm fucking glad that's over. Oh. P10, that's the end of the race. Jesus. Christ, I don't think I'll be doing that again in a hurry. 
Not until I have had a bit of practice. Fair play to the top runners. Fucking hell. 53-2. Watching you now, I understand I was taking a completely wrong line. <laughs> it's all about the straights, man. All about the straights. Just running as fucking wide as possible into the corners and swinging around. Um... All right, let's see what's next on the agenda. So Silverstone, no way. Brands Hatch Indy. We've got Suzuka. I don't really want to go back to Suzuka. Let's go into Hockenheim Ring. We can go GT3s. I'm going to choose the Porsche. Really, really like this car. I've been racing it around Macau all week. And it's been such a fucking laugh. Let me know if you're in this as well, uh, Thanos. Let me see if you're up for uh, up for a Hockenheim ring. Well, thanks a lot for sticking around, boys. I do appreciate it. All right, so we're 15 minutes left here, and then 20. Fucking love this Porsche. Clear. Push, push, push. Uh, I've gone Brakes for the GT3. Oh. Yeah, I've gone for just for the GT3s, dude. What up to you? Incident in sector two. Sector two is yellow. Looks like P2's gone off in the hairpin. Green flag, Sector 2. <laughs> Ferrari GT3 Evo. <laughs> I think either the Audi sector one is or the Porsche is a good show. This infield section is so much tighter than it is on iRacing. Not too much speed out there. Fucking too wide there as well, man. That, that corner is so tight. Okay, nice, dude. Need to watch the track limits. Not even sure if the Porsche is a good car for this track to be fair. But I like it. I see a lot of Mercs and Audis.
let's try validate this first fucking corner. Brake temperatures look good. <laughs> I don't think Porsche is the problem. I don't think so either. <laughs> A few practice laps on sort at it. Your right sides are cold. Yellow flag sector two. Awful line through there. Awful fucking line. It was called Parabolica as well. You know that. A little too late on the brakes there. You see four. Track limits, keep it within the lines. You mean traction control 40%? There. Yellow flag, you're clear. Incident clear. Oh, I'm about to be a hazard on the track. Oh, sorry. Whatever that uh, setting did to that car feels awful. The traction control? No. Let's try that three. Sector 1 is clear. 
It was so bumpy around there. Apparently P3. We can think of the way we're driving, though. We can abuse the curb out there a little bit more. Tense. Sector three is clear. Pocket. A little bit of spin coming out of there. Okay, Alan. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Sector 3. Sector 3 is yellow. Green flag, Sector 3. Fuck, oh, man. Yellow flag. Green flag. Track limits. This land will be deleted. Stadium sector is so... Yellow uh, flag, Sector 1. Surprisingly tight. Get this gravel off my fucking tires. up a 10 we have a lot of time a lot of time to gain in this stadium sector so see we can try to pull back any time here always break later for there as well like sector two sector three is clear sector two is clear Sector three, green flag, sector one. Sector three is clear. Back up to P4 with that time. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Sector three. Sector three is yellow. Green flag. Sector three. Would have been on the brakes way later there. Yellow flag in sector three. Is 
incident in Sector 1. Sector 1 is yellow. Green flag, Sector 1. Of almost half a second. All right, clear right. Only good enough for P5. Okay, Alan, there's a faster class car approaching. All right, let's have a look at those tires. 25, 24. The tires are still too low. Let's have a look at that before we move forward. Car setup going to front. And then as you said, the test, the it was bringing the uh yeah, T4 or TC4 was good, man. Um I always thought TC1 was basically zero TC. I didn't know it was the opposite way around here. Um I'm so used to going uh, like tra TC1 in ACC means like next to none basically. So it's kind of the opposite here, hence why I got confused there. But TC4 uh, feels good, man. Uh, so car set up here. So you said it was tire pressure needs to actually come down to uh, to heat up the tires, wasn't it? I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna go for a lap here and see what it feels like. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> for fuck's sake! Oh man! Let's go back. Can we go back to the garage? Oh yeah, there we are. Let's try not do that again. Front into turn 14. Fuck it. I can abuse that curb so much on the outside there, but there is a fine line. We invalidated lap, but let's use this to get our tires up to temperature. I think you're giving out to me about the PSI's test. No fucking idea how to set them in this game. I think I've set them way too low again. Well, this is the thing that's confusing me. So I bring them down so the temperature goes up. I don't get it. right now the tires feel absolutely shit They should be at what 27 point is it 25.7 psi? Can't even fucking remember. Is it 27.7? Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Because now they're lower than they were before, and that's after bringing down the uh settings in the setup
breaks out. Fucking missed the apex by a mile there. Invalidated. Christ Almighty. Ah, oh, they deleted this fucking lap as well. Cold. Actually, that's a question if anyone knows. How do I just bring up one side? But they seem to be connected when I bring up the PSIs or the temperature of one side. Tires on the opposite side change as well. How do we change it so that we're just working on one side of the car? Right click just to change that side, I get you. Thanks, lads. Oh, too much speed through there, Al. These tires need a fucking. need something, lads, because. See, the ones on the left hand side are green. And they're saying 25. Point one PSI, but isn't that extremely low? Shouldn't they not be Decent lap so far. I keep it nice and tidy through the stadium here. Thirteen position, Christ Almighty. Alright, well not our best lap, so we have to live with that, so alright, what am I doing here? Checker flags out, P thirteen. Okay, yeah, I get you now with the right click. Okay, that makes sense. Uh so what do I want to do here? This is where it's going to make or break the race, I think, is if I get the fucking tires right, because We've got one minute. Let's try to do something here. So, um, pressure, 79. Well, I think that this just needed to come down a little bit. Heat up those tires at the back. And in the front as well. Fuck it. I'm just going to chance that. 
We've got 27 seconds left. Our setup. Let's look at fuel here actually as well. So 18 laps. I think this is just a 15 minute race. Let's bloody hope so. But again, we're just going into this with a lot of things we still need to learn, so so be it. It's gonna be a learning experience. Fifteen minutes. Oh yeah, just fifteen minutes, so get ready. Very much doubt we need fifty liters in the car, but green, green, green. Right side. You're in the middle. Clear right, clear left. Oh wow. Did I just get kicked out of the lobby? Oh no, we, we didn't. Left side. White flag, mate. Hold your line. Clear right. Rewind. You're in the middle. Clear right. Oh, what the fuck happened White there? Left. Hold your line. Hold your line. Oh, Panos. I'm guessing you didn't get your setup Still done there. in time. The outside. Still there. Sector one is clear. Clear right. Not a bad start from us up to P7. Oh, someone's right, gone right, out. Right. Freebie for us. Right side, Thank you very much, right. sir. Yellow flag, sector three. Yellow flag, stay sharp. And I don't know what's going on here. Clear. Green flag. Take care, please. I don't know whether it's just his connection or what, but Jesus. I cannot tell what that car is doing at all. I really didn't want to uh, run into the back of that dude there, obviously, but his car was all over the fucking place. I couldn't tell where it was. Oh man. Left side. Sector two is yellow. Clear left. Come on, don't let him get away. Right, the guy ahead of us is Nemeth. Before I get this position back. tires are worse than before i don't know what you guys are telling me about bringing the tires down but that seems to be making it worse i think it's i think it's the opposite way right we should be bringing them up the pressure in the tires up sector three is clear right tires are cold the psi just needs to come up totally right i mean they should be 27.8 The same as ACC or AC, right? I think it's that measurement that's fucking me up or confusing me is that KPI or whatever it is. Good morning. Keep it tidy. Please, Alan. You need to 
to slow down if you don't want a penalty. The gap behind is now. Because currently behind. my tyres are absolutely in shambles. Yeah, I was thinking that, Hal. But I brought them down. So now they're, they're all over the place. They're not up to temperature at all, nor will they be the whole race, I suppose. But I have to live with it for now, but something I'll have to pay attention to now moving forward. Oh, jeez. 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Don't think about the lap times. Just hit each and every apex. It's going to be a tough enough race for me to keep this position now. These boys behind me are faster. Probably have greener tires as well. Okay, I get you, Hal. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought he spun there. Fucking hell. Why is everyone uh, blinking? Is it my connection or what? Or everyone else's? But every fucking car in this is blinking. Exits. He's quicker than us through. Turn 15. Up three are after running away with it. They're in a league of their own. Green flag sector three. Should have got a slowdown for that, I'm sure. The guy behind me made a mistake there, way too deep into the hairpin. The gap behind is now 1.0. You're halfway home, your fuel is fine. Hopefully that car behind the uh, Ford, behind the guy behind me, will start battling. Allow me to get out of range and out the road a little bit. Incident in sector two. Sector two is yellow. The actor Nemeth in front is now 1.7. Up with Nemeth here. Sector two. Oh, Alan, completely missed my breaking marker there. Yellow flag, green flag, you're clear. Keep it within the track limits. Fuck, man, lost a second there. That's a shame. Wasn't paying attention. Completely my bad, but I'm sure Nemeth ahead is very happy. Mm. 
let's try close this gap again. Got just over five minutes. Yellow flag in sector two. Sector three is clear. Sector two is clear. Sector 2, Sector 2 is yellow. Closing this gap just a little bit again. Too, way too early on the brakes that time out. Overcompensating. But all in all, a better race for us this time. Obviously a little bit more familiar being GT3s rather than DTM, but this is what we needed. Ah, fuck it. Looking that too much. Really not doing myself any favours here. The gap behind is now 1.9 seconds. Fastest lap for Berka, 139.50. Nemeth now 3.3 ahead and become hard to catch now at this stage. Better. Boys behind are still battling. Jeez, they're having a hell of a fucking battle. Yellow flag sector three. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Ended up starting from the pits. That's the new fastest lap for Berka, 139.47. Well, 139.47, that's fucking quick. Last lap, green flag, sector two.
like Sector 2. Martin has just been disqualified. Sector 2 is clear. Sector 1. Really need to learn how to take that stadium Fine. sector a little okay, bit better. Good finish, mate. Well done. Car right. That was okay. Right. Not a entirely bad race from us. I think we could have got P4 if we had been racing well, but... Yeah, a lot of guys were lagging, Panos. I noticed that they were all over the place when I started the race. I ended up actually hitting some guy off uh, because his car was just blinking in and out in front of me. Oh, you got black flagged. <laughs> but that was a decent race. Not, not entirely unhappy with that one. Actually, let's have a quick look at my... Um, my rep and my rating because i'm sure they've taken a whack tonight considering the races that we've been doing and how i've been doing it in them uh so we have actually we have our reputation has gone up still yeah we've come down in points but so be it that should give us a nice little boost now in rating 11th started last oh you started from the pits i think didn't you that was unfortunate but that was a decent race. I didn't uh I didn't mind that one. Nice to get back into the GT3s. At least I'm a little bit more familiar with them. Let's have a look here. We have the Red Bull Ring again. I think I'm gonna go Red Bull Ring. And try to get back here. Actually, we have 15. We have Monza again, which is the P1 GTEs. I'm actually gonna hop in here, Panos, if you're up for it. But I'm gonna go with the Porsche. Oh man, I was confused with fuel as well, but I, I only ended up going 10 litres over, so it wasn't actually bad. I didn't really overfuel. Well, I overfueled, but not by much. Not as much as I thought I would. But I'm going to go into Monza here, go with the uh, Porsche. Somewhat different. I think this might be the last race of the night now for me. I shall see how I feel after it. But it's being a work night. I don't want to be up too late. Still have to get the old din-dins. Uh, let's go and look at the car setup here. Yeah, I think so too, Hal. Great fucking drive. Um, I'm going to have a look at the tire pressure here. So, What is our temperature? We have uh, details for track and air temp. that I can see. I'm going to bring them up two each anyway. See what we're up against here. Pit lane speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. There's traffic behind, take care. Your brakes are cold, let's get some heat. Blue flag. Yeah, right click to that on tire pressures, dude. That fucker dog go through here. Yellow flag. Only have two minutes anyway, so. Green flag, you're clear. last time I did this it was really fun
these two boys are at it, I think. got six seconds left so we'll pull off here we want to bring up those tire temps again that's the end of the session p1 a little bit more oh p1 nice i don't know what i did to get p1 there but oh man Okay, car set up. These tires need to come up way more. Yellow flag. Let's try that. Got some quality. We'll know by a few laps here whether we have the uh, tires going in the right direction or not. Messi for a chicane. Three tenths to beat your PB. That's a challenge, mate. Maybe at this track, one of my more comfortable tracks, but ah, uh, yeah, I keep forgetting about that test. Well, I think I'll go four again. That lap time was one forty six point seven two. A little slide there. You're locking your right front going into very anti Del Retifilio. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Sector one time's okay. What are we looking at? 146.7 currently. 
Your right tires are cold. Sector two time is okay. There we are. There's some time found in that last corner. So we're up a little bit here again. We're carrying more speed through this second chicane. Sector one time is good. There we are, two tenths. Oh no. Got too greedy with it. Losing all that time down the straight now. Okay, so wherever we start, we start. Let's see that as is. These tires are still confusing the fuck out of me. But currently, they've gone down from where they initially were. So the tire has. So I brought up the two minutes to go. Two minutes. KPA to one eight five. So I brought them up about five or six clicks each. But the tire has now come down in temperature from what was twenty six point five psi to. Are they now? Well, they start at 26.6 and now they've gone down to like 24.5. I just don't get the tires in this. So in ACC, if I want to keep the tire temps up, I'll increase the PSI predominantly, apart from do a few other things, but I'll mostly just bring the PSI of the tires up. So I don't understand why I'm losing so much heat in the tires after I bring the KPA up. FL up 8. What's that, Hal? I really don't get the tires on this. Do I just have to bring up the tires more? I really, really don't get it. It's really confusing me. So front left. So up eight, you say. Front left. I've brought it up four already, so I'll bring it up four more. Um, and then the rears as well, but they were all well under where they should be. But it just... Yeah, either that or I have to bring it up a massive amount, which isn't, I mean, I'm not adverse to doing that. It just feels a little bit wrong, I suppose, because I'm, um, increasing pressures will call this tire thread profile to shape into a dome. Ah, okay. So decreasing will make the outer rim of the tire increase in heat, obviously, because there's less PSI. So, um, okay. That's all right, Hal. Oh, that's perfectly okay, man. I'll just chance it again for this race. I think before I stream next on this again, uh, I'll really dig into the car setups and how to actually do it properly because I'm obviously struggling quite a bit with that. Um, so I am, in fact, going to bring up the rears just slightly here again. Um, so let's just see what that does. But general settings here. So 16.5 laps. I know it's a 15-minute race. Um, so 
So we'll probably get what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Probably get about ten laps. Let's go eleven laps. Actually, let's bring that up a little bit. I don't want to be worried about fuel. Yeah. I think I just need to take the time to delve into it a little bit and and be cut more confident in it, I suppose. Well, here we go. I think uh, Panos is still in this. Minutes. Okay, Alan, be ready. Watch here we lights. go, boys. Starting P6. Go. On your right. Not starting P6 anymore. That was an awful start. Oh man, that car in front of me. I think that was Panos. <laughs> White flag. Clear right. On your right. Hold your line. Someone went a little bit too hot into T1. Hold your line. Clear right. Back to P11 with that. Let's see if we can get those places back. To do some passing here, lads. Car right. Clear right. Almost ran into the back of that dude. Wasn't expecting him to break so early in there. But luckily, there was space we could go around. 10 kPa equals 1 psi. Wow, okay, so. So. When setting up the KPAs would raise quite significantly then. Thanks, Hal. I appreciate that, man. I'll look it up myself anyway tomorrow when I, in my spare time, but uh yeah, I definitely need to figure that out. Boy, oh boy. Or 5k PA, okay. Seeing right front locking into Berianti Della Roggia. No compromised exit there. Alright, slowly beginning to make our way back up. After that fucking Incident, awful sector start. Three, sector 3 is yellow. Green flag sector 3. I don't know where Panos is. He must be up in the top 4. Okay, so now the uh, PSIs of the front left and the back left are looking more like they should just a little bit uh, unevenly distributed i suppose but at least be beginning to see some normal fucking psi readings there you're locking your right front into very anti del retifilio
flag, stay sharp. Take it easy, you've got cold tires. You're clear, incident clear. That free position, I think it was. Okay, Alan, the next car is in Sosa. I think the guy in the uh, prototype has a handy. I think he's the only one. Ten minutes remaining. Ten ah, minutes. man. Nice and smooth at that throttle. Keep it balanced. Compromise my exit there. Ascari. Fucking right on him other than that. Sosa ahead is increasing. Oh wow, Sosa's off. Zero. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Green flag, all clear. E6. Green flag, sector 3. E6, sector 3 is 0.9 off the pace. speed in. Need to prioritize the exit. But we're right up on these boys now. Using all the track. Over eight minutes to go. Stay between the lines. Plenty of time to get these uh, these boys here. Left side. Still there. Clear left. <laughs> Pan, I've been converted. I haven't been converted yet, man. But uh, I've been enjoying playing it. But I'll be back on... Uh, I'll be back on the sim grid come the weekend, don't you worry. Still where I find I have the best races. But for now, I'm liking race room, man. It's a nice, uh, nice break. Even if I am a little bit shit at it, but hope you're good, dude. Thanks for checking out the stream. Oh no! Focus. Not gonna help my plate. Be in front of this guy. Car right. Hold your line. Play right. Come on, Alan. Good stuff. Keep it coming. All for a laugh, Pan. All for a laugh. Bans and lols. The shits and giggles. We'll be back to normal routine now come the weekend. Awesome stuff, mate. Just, uh, I was wanting to actually uh, do the sim grid tonight, but it just wasn't that busy. Actually filled up towards the uh, towards when the races were, but before that, 
pretty quiet in there. Don't let this guy intimidate you. Always like it when it's busy there. Makes for a better stream, I think, having quite a few guys coming over and chatting. Watch the replays. Seeing who killed who. Guy in front of me is under pressure. so tight on this game wasting time behind this guy get your elbows out and get around him <laughs> little podcast going on more than welcome anytime fan but yeah enjoy ACC dude I won't be on tonight but definitely Friday or Saturday night haven't chosen which one yet but definitely one of those nights I was about to say he's out broke himself. Left disqualified. Far left. Clear left. Where the fuck is he? Oh, I'm out on my own. I thought he was still alongside me. What the pressure will do to you? See if we can catch this boy all ahead. What have we got? 4.5 seconds. I don't think we will. Alright, Alan, you've used half your fuel. They're out. Track limits. Oh man. Not a bad recovery drive though considering. I think we're down to P11 by the second corner. Back up to P... Oh we're in P3. Fucking hell. Not bad at all. I don't think we're catching this boy. Not unless we go straight through the next few chicanes, but generally it's frowned upon. Sector one. It's better. Your right sides are cold. If I was taking it like that every fucking lap, I'd be doing better. Sector one is clear. Diaz is now retired. So the thing to do tomorrow now, when I'm playing in my own time, is figure out how to actually set up the cars in this 
set up the PSI's and tire temps correctly. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. I think that'll that do wonders there. for my game. Okay, Alan. Lap times are pretty consistent. Not bad at all. Oh god. Ah, uh, fucking hell. Yellow flag, sector two is clear. We'll be warned about track limits. We now I have to down. slow down. Time. Might not be through P3. Oh, there we are. Slow down's gone. And fuck. Completely misjudged braking on that one. An awful last lap, losing a heap of time there. That's not bad at all for the last race. One more lap. Uh, well, I assume so then. Oh man, oh man, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, Alan, we've gone out of track limits. Keep it between the lines. Incident clear. Green flag. You're locking your right. Oh, that was the last lap too. Very well, it might not be P3. Let's try, uh, try defend from this guy right here. Side. Car right. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. On your left. Clear left. For the last lap drama. I could have swore that last lap was the last lap. <laughs> On your right, on your right. Clear right. But anyway, we got to defend here. Coming on strong, last corner of the race as well. He's going to fucking send it. Left side. Clear left. It's going to be a drag race, boys. Oh man. <laughs> well done, Alan. Great drive. That's a podium. Fair play to him. <laughs> Good last lap, but it was tight. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh man. That was a decent race. Quite happy with that one. Could have raced better though. A lot of mistakes there. Just need to get some practice in, I think. Oh, Jesus. I might finish finished up, lads, for tonight, I think. That was a decent enough night's racing, actually. So, where did we end up, actually, when it came to points? Let's see if it's updated. Was that... Oh, you had a good race after. Oh, it wasn't you on T1. I was thinking. I was wondering who the hell it was. I, I thought you'd gone ahead, but I couldn't see you. Um, I don't know where you were. You were obviously behind me then. But I was looking for you ahead. Um, 
So after our GT, okay, so the results are in. So reputation up to 88 and our rating is up to 17 and 03. So we are still on track for our 2K. So that's our goal uh, with this little series of live streams for this race room uh, is just to get to 2K. So we're still on the way up there. A couple of reds in there, whatever the hell. I'm not going to think too much about that, but still on the way up. So that's good. Good to hear you had a good race up, Anas. I wasn't sure where you'd gone. Uh, I thought I seen your name pop up when I seen the car go forward. So I thought it was you, but obviously not. Some guy just fucking diving in there. Uh, but thanks a lot for checking out the uh, um, stream. 030 incident after T1 grabbed fourth position. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Opportunities, man. You got to be there to take them, I suppose. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for checking out the stream, lads. Panos, it was good racing. Uh, hopefully next time we'll be in ACC, maybe Friday. If not Friday, Saturday, but I'll most likely be uh, be streaming both on Friday and Saturday this week. And then I killed myself. <laughs> I made quite a few mistakes there myself, to be fair. But I kept it facing forward and actually finished quite well. I think we finished P3. Very close battle there on the last lap, though. One that we didn't really need, to be fair. I just kept making mistakes, so he ended up catching back up on me. Um, so not entirely necessary, completely my fault. But anyway, let's finish up for the night, lads. Time I got some grub. And then got a shower, spent some time with the missus if she's home. I hope you all have a great evening. Uh, let's chat over the weekend when we're streaming again. You'll see the notifications up on YouTube when I'm when I'm going to go live again. So I'll catch you all then. Thanks a lot for... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Panos, except that uh, DTM, man. Let's never do that again. Let's, let's agree now that we'll never do a DTM race again. At least not a 30-minute one because that was fucking awful. It was uh, 30 minutes of pure hell and torture. But let's not do that again. Not not without practice first. Thanks a lot for dropping by. I'll check you in the next stream. Have a great evening. See you soon.